So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Moon in the second house in the sign of Pisces for Aquarius Ascendant people, which yes, I know I missed it last week. So that's why I'm covering it today. And yes, there was no Q&A because I've been busy filming videos for my course, which is going to start from tomorrow of Mahadasha, where I'm just going to show you all these little tricks of exactly what results are you going to get, you know, in a Mahadasha and even Antradasha, because you might notice why a person does not get the same result in a one antradasha versus the other and it's a simple thing so i'm going to be showing this which is on maga vedic astrology academy and as always if you do not know if you have this particular placement what sign it's in what nakshatra it's in all your astrological details check out the links here check out my full astrological report including my books consultations and link to my academy maga vedic astrology academy so moon in the second house in pisces while moon rules the sixth house Sixth house represents health, illnesses, diseases, enemies, competition, daily work routines, daily work life, disputes, you know, um, it represents loans. So when moon is in the second house, one of the biggest thing that happens with this is that a person becomes very oblivion to their debts. If one has a lot of debt, you will see this person's actually not stressed. Or it has to be pushed to such an extent is that only after a certain point they will become really stressed about their debt. But otherwise, you ask them, do you have debt? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I have student loans, this and that. Yeah. And how much is that? Yeah, I think it's like eighty, ninety thousand dollar debt or something. And you might be thinking, whoa, okay. And they'll be like, yeah, so what's going on? Let's have fun. Let's go out tonight. They are not able to comprehend the stress that could come through a certain activity, certain house, certain karma. And in a way, it's a great thing. You know, I mean, I wish I could be like that. Then I would have a lot of debt. For me, even if I get $100 on my credit card, I keep thinking, I got to pay it off. I got to pay it off because I have zero debt, zero. I just don't like that type of, uh, you know, movable debt. But especially when it comes to the sign of Pisces with moon, one is very optimistic about these things. And also one will have natural skill to sing, love for dancing, especially these are the people you will see in a family party, they'll be the first one wanting to dance. And somehow you will notice with this one, even though it doesn't have any link, they will always do some kind of a snake or serpent dance. Such people also do not get the proper treatment from the spouse's family. Because of their eccentric oblivion mind, they will not be in a way well respected like, oh, this person knows what they're doing. They will be more getting the reputation of uh, like, yeah, we don't know what this person does, how they do it. What are they doing? We don't want to know. And the other thing you will also see that this person will also attain ancestral property. This person will easily be able to, like I was telling you about the debt, they can easily attain loans. So if they want a loan for a $600,000 property, let's say in US, they can get that. They have that type of a blessing. Now, of course, I'm only saying moon in the second. If your moon is conjunct some planet, is getting an enormous impact of malefic planets, then those situations will be completely different. Then what will happen is this. The let's say moon is just hemmed between malefics. This person will be in the same oblivion mode, but they will always feel worried and stressed as to why they're doing what they're doing. Why do I keep spending money on credit cards? Why do I keep getting these loans and debts? Why? And they just can't figure it out. They, they, they may have the hardest time trying to figure out a way out of that habit because they will also realize that stress. And especially uh, we see this with this particular moon, 
huge um, wealth comes in through the mother and after a person purchases their first property for example let's say you're making average money like let's say you're making seventy eighty thousand dollars you're in IT you're in management and you and your spouse are able to save enough money to buy a property once you sign on that property you will see how wealth starts rising outside of that value of the property meaning you start either getting promotions you get a huge bonus you get a far better opportunity to make far more money but life then increases so these are some of the parameters with this you know particular moon and usually you will find if there's no malefic impact on the moon such people usually will go for veganism not even vegetarianism <sighs> veganism okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of moon in the second house for aquarius and people if you're new to my channel subscribe below so you miss these type of videos and if you want to know all about your charts my school academy check out the links here otherwise we'll see you later Bye bye